That means I've lost 28 pounds in the first 39 days that we've been on this, which is stellar. It's awesome. Welcome everybody to day 39, feeling great. If you're like me, the diet always starts tomorrow. Well, it's tomorrow somewhere, so let's get started. It's time for wait for the day. I couldn't believe it this morning. I got on the scale and I've been telling you that I felt like I was gonna plateau or gain weight or something. This morning, I gained 0.5 pounds. I gotta be honest, I was kind of bummed out. My weight was 260.5. That means I've lost 28 pounds in the first 39 days that we've been on this, which is stellar, it's awesome, I should be happy about it, but I felt frustrated this morning about that. Hashtag goals. On day nine of this 30 day goal period that we've set up now, I've lost 4.7 of the seven pound goal. So we still have a lot of days to go. I'm hoping that we'll surpass the seven and I can redo my goals to a higher number, but that's where we're at now, to stay on track to 100 pounds in 365 days. So I stayed on my three hour eating window yesterday. I stopped eating, my goal was to stop around one o'clock. I ended up stopping at around 1.30, which was pretty good. So I felt good about that. Hey, I'm challenged. All right, challenge time. 10,000 steps this week is a challenge and I've been experimenting with this. And again, last night, about nine o'clock, I was at 2,600 steps left. And I was just like, oh no, I don't wanna have 2,600 steps left right now at 9 p.m. But I got my butt up. <laughs> I walked around that, you know, it's so funny also, it's it, the hardest thing is getting out to do the walk and doing that. But once I'm there, it's totally good. I like don't have a problem, it's nice walking around the lake. I try to focus on how beautiful it looks at night with the shadows and all that going on in the water and there's still animals around. But that was tough last night. So I'm trying to get this done during the day so that I don't have to get out there and do that walk at night. So maybe today's the day. This is what we've been training for. All right, so training for the Down Syndrome Walk and the 5K. Did my mile yesterday again, so I did that earlier in the morning, felt great about it. Actually, I did it while I think my daughter was at volleyball yesterday. I walked the track at the school where she was at. So that was good, I felt great about it. I'm feeling like a million bucks, honestly. I'm amazed at how different I feel than when I started. It's just incredible what happens in a little over a month. All right, now, here, we're gonna start weight training. My weight training starts today. That's why I'm here in the weight room and I'm so excited about it. Make sure you watch the goals. I think it was day 36 or something, I think is right around the time, but I have all my goals and stuff set up there. You can see what they are. Check that out if you haven't checked it out yet and like, subscribe, hit notifications because we're gonna be doing some live events too, I think. And so I'd love for you to be able to not miss it because I think we're gonna have some really cool stuff coming up. So I feel like every day on my tip of the day, I keep it real. And today's gonna be no different. The tip of the day is do it anyways. Today I thought, man, what is this feeling? And I, I figured out I'm just angry. And the reason why is because yesterday I ate fewer calories and I exercised more. I did over 10,000 steps and I woke up this morning and I mean, I exercised yesterday, last night, at, to the point that I was not happy about it. When I was doing it, I wasn't enjoying it. And I was working so hard on my mindset to enjoy it, but I, honestly, I wasn't. I was sore. I feel like I'd been moving around all day long. The last thing I wanted to do was get my butt out there and do what I did. I feel like I paid a price. I mean, I felt like yesterday, I think I was like a thousand, a oh, little over a thousand calories for the day. I ate fish. I ate, you know, I just, I, I did what I felt like I was supposed to do. I felt like I paid a price. And next thing I know this morning and I wake up and I go and weigh myself and I weigh more than I did yesterday. It just, uh, it was really disappointing. Oh, stop whining. But more than that, I felt angry about it. I was really thinking about the fact that there's still this thing in me that constantly wants to think that conventional wisdom is correct, right? Eat a low fat carbohydrate diet, eat a bunch of vegetables and exercise and you'll lose weight. I mean, maybe for someone that works, it does not work for me. Yesterday, I don't know. I mean, I ate fish, it was mahi mahi. I mean, that's pretty lean. I did everything I was supposed to do. I exercised and did all that and I still gained weight. And I honestly was thinking that I felt angry because the thing that's crazy about it is it's subconscious for me. I was thinking that, oh, I did everything I was supposed to. Well, supposed to according to whom? When I lost weight before, I got on the phone with a dietitian. I told her I lost weight. I told her how, and it was primarily through keto. And she told me that was a bad thing to do. It was wrong, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, I've been fat 
for decades at this point. I finally lost weight and the way that I did it didn't subscribe to the way she said I should do it. And I remember thinking to myself, I felt kind of bad about that. Don't feel bad. But here's the thing, it doesn't matter. We've all learned this stuff unconsciously. Growing up, I learned what I just told you. Low fat means, you know, an exercise and leafy greens and all that means low weight. For me, it doesn't seem to be the case. It seems to me that doing this fasting and eating a lot of fat is actually what helps my body lose weight. I don't know about anybody else's, I just know mine. And so I started realizing that the reason I felt so pissed was because I had done the conventional wisdom again yesterday. That's what I was feeling like. Now, is that accurate? No, but I'm just telling you how I felt. I did that, it didn't work. And I felt angry because I felt out of control because I did what they said to do and it didn't work for me. Here's the thing, I know what works for me. I know that if I get enough fat intake, if I eat enough of that kind of stuff, it seems to me from the steak challenge, that was the only week where I hadn't gained any weight. For me, that works. And so all I'm saying is I am not going to give up my power anymore to this idea that, oh, it's supposed to be like that. No, it's supposed to be whatever works for me. And for you probably should be whatever works for you. Go and talk to your doctor, all that stuff. I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you for me and in my life. What do you do? I'm gonna do what works for me. I'm not gonna feel guilty. I'm not gonna feel uncomfortable about it. I'm gonna be happy in it and I'm going to do more of it and I'm gonna get this weight off of my body and then I'm gonna keep it off. I'm gonna do what works and I already feel better for venting. Thank you for listening. And But mainly for figuring out that I'm gonna do what works for me and I am gonna feel no guilt to what I learned growing up and what's unconsciously there. Hey, do we need some iron? Check out these progress pics. Ah, I'm blown away by them because to me, I totally see a difference 39 days later that I would have never thought in a million years. The one picture is day one and the other picture is this morning. And I'm telling you that I never thought I would see this type of a change. All right, you guys, if you haven't yet, check out these other videos that we have because I really think it's helpful to see. I mean, I'm not, I'm telling you that I am a guy who 40 days ago, felt like death warmed over, felt like I had no energy, like I couldn't do anything. And 39 days later, I feel like a million bucks. I feel so much better. I think it, being able to see sort of that walkthrough, there may be things in there that you can identify with that might help you. And I certainly, that's the goal of the channel is to be able to help as many people be able to get on this adventure with us as possible. So check out those other videos. Anyways, thanks for being here today. It was totally fun. I'm so pumped to be in the gym and I can't wait to see how this experiment plays out and this adventure and what happens happens to my body and I just am so excited about it. It was a great day at the gym. I can't wait for a few months and see how this affects my body. It's so exciting. See you guys tomorrow.